Oh no, welcome back to Match Day Live, it's me Dan back again and this weekend Manchester United have to face Crystal Palace at home at Old Trafford and I believe it's a normal Saturday 3 o'clock kickoff. Uh, so the team I've gone for is a bit of a change from the one where we drew with uh, Wolves. So instead of Jesse Lingard I've put Juan Matter in and um, it's pretty much the same. Maguire, Juan Bissaka, James, McTominay, Pogba, you know the same, same old, same old. Uh, so let's get into it, let's play match and let's talk about Obviously, the uh, last match, which was a draw against Wolves, 1-1. And uh, to be honest, in in the circumstances, I think they deserved a draw in the end. Um, we got the first half. Let's start with the first half, obviously. First half, we, we were pretty... What can we say about it? We were pretty... I don't know. We we were we were controlling the game, and Wolves literally we had like seventy five percent possession, like the first five, like the first fifteen minutes or something, and we were just completely over all over them. And then, um, but we wasn't creating many chances, let's just say, um, which I was quite surprised that uh, we didn't create many chances until obviously the first uh, first chance I would say was uh, a Rashford cross. That went on to um, Martial, who all Martial needed to do is pretty much. Um, oh, McTominay with a header. Um, yeah, all Rashford had to do, all Martial had to do is just, you know, poke his leg out and it would have been in. But it's just, it was a good cross, but Martial didn't react to it, let's just say that. Uh, well, he did, but he just didn't. If he was a bit further on, he would have scored, I reckon. Anyway, uh, United did, did get their first goal through Martial. And it was a good move uh, with Luke Shaw, Jess Lingard and Rashford. Rashford just put um, uh, Martial through and it was a good finish actually. So it was 2-1 and uh, 2-1. It was 1-0 and uh, yeah, it looked really good. And then after that uh, that goal, we pretty much looked over at Um We was forcing... It pretty much like Wolves looked like they was there for the taking. And we could have got a second right before half-time. Um the Wolves defender, I think it was Cody who put, uh, like, tried to do a back pass to the goalkeeper, but he went straight through to uh, Martial. Martial st stood on the ball. Uh, so, yeah, that was... Oh, look at that, Martial. Uh, not Martial, Ma Juan Mata with the left-footed finesse. Um, yeah, no, he he looked... Um, well, yeah, Martial just tried on the ball and he couldn't get through to score, but that was a really good chance for us. And if we scored that 2 0, I reckon we would have won the game 3 or 4 0. Um, so then, yeah, obviously, we went in half time, winning 1 0. You know, controlled pretty much the first whole 45 minutes, you know, away from home. You know, we wouldn't say that, especially at Wolves, you know, where we just controlled it. Uh, second half, totally different. We just kept giving the ball away. Um, they actually came out. I thought that was a, I thought that was a kickoff goal. Then that was unlucky. Yeah, they came out. Uh, like, yeah, they just came out wanting the game. I don't know. They just switched on at half time after half time. Wolves and uh, they did get their first chance, which was from a free kick. Uh, I believe it was a cross from uh, Gio Martino, and he went on to uh, uh, well, Gio Martino, you know. Put it into the box and Raúl Jiménez hit the post and it uh, it almost went off went in off De Gea but De Gea uh, was lucky that he didn't um, so yeah it went off De Gea hit the post went off De Gea and then I think they got it away but yeah we got lucky with that one uh, so then after that it, we had you know Wolves were all over us we looked so I don't know we just looked so nervous in that midfield uh, Pogba was giving the ball away even McTominay was giving the ball away we just couldn't get it out of you know we just couldn't get out couldn't get out of our own area and it showed that when obviously they scored it was from a corner it's a well set piece corner actually um it's a good goal it's a goal from Ruben Neves but it's a really good goal uh, it's a well worked set up goal it's from a corner they took a short corner uh, I believe it is Jota who put it into the uh, edge of the area where Ruben Neves was and he blasts it or he places it into the net and yeah, we he placed it into the net, and he pretty much um, yeah, it's, it's just you know he just placed it into that top right corner. It's just a really good goal off the crossbar and in. Uh, De Gea did get a hand to it. Uh, replay showed that he did get like a slight touch to it, but it's just 
It's just a good goal. You can't do anything about it. Um, so then after that, now, you know, Wolves scored. But, like, they didn't really, the you know, they kind of switched off after that Wolves. And it showed because, you know, United were back in it. And, you know, we were controlling the ball a bit more. And we got our third, uh, we got our second chance, which was a penalty. Um, I believe it was Cody yet again. Uh, but it was a link up play with Pogba and Rashford, I think. It was Pogba or Rashford, one of the uh, uh, Pogba. It was, yeah. it was either a Rashford or Martial who linked up with Pogba, but it was a great one too. Pogba went into the box and he got fouled. Uh, so that was a definite penalty. It was a definite penalty. Even the uh, Wolves player knew it was a penalty. Um, so, yeah, going into that, obviously, we were thinking Rashford would take it. But no, Paul Popper took it. Um, and Paul Popper, uh, well, it's a good penalty. It's, you know, hard, good save penalty. Um, but, yeah, again, you know, everything's all on Popper. And, uh, uh, or, yeah, just like everything was with... Uh, you know, linking at Pogba, obviously, he missed the penalty. Well, he didn't miss it. The goalkeeper saved it, obviously. So, um, but yeah, it's just a good, it was a good penalty, but he just couldn't get the height up enough. Uh, oh, that should be, oh, oh we missed it. Uh, yeah, it should be, um, you know, he pretty much, uh, Rui Patricio saved it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a chance that we should have took. But, was, you know, penalties get missed, penalties get saved. Um, if it's like a low flat, you know, try to place it penalty, um, it would have been like a poor penalty. But it's a not a bad penalty, to be honest. Um, but then, obviously, after the game, um, what's his name? Paul Popper did get a load of stick from a load of fans on Twitter. Uh, quite a lot of racist tweets and stuff like that. So that was a bit... Um, but, you know, to say as club fans, you know what I mean? That shouldn't be... We shouldn't be doing that. You know, all right, you, you can blame Popper for taking a penalty off Rashford you, you know who scored one last weekend against the uh, weekend before against Chelsea but it still doesn't oh what a goal what a goal what a goal that's a kickoff goal one matter um yeah but I don't know it was just a weird one I think um so after that which there, there wasn't much uh chances we like like after the penalty we pretty much controlled the ball uh, we brought on Mason Greenwood, um, we brought well, on Mata, we brought on quite a few players. Uh, but in the end, we just couldn't get that second goal. And fortunately, we drew so one all with today, Wolves. All and to, to be honest, I would have took goal. that. At least we didn't lose. Um, it, it looked like, Max you know, Wolves were going to come out and get a goal, goal and trying to get a, the win. And but they didn't here. really make De Gea make any more saves really after that goal, really after their goal. So... It wasn't too bad uh, to see us, you know, draw at Molly New because they are a good side, Wolves. But obviously, they had uh, they're a good side, uh, Wolves. But you know, it's a, it's a definitely a hard place to go. But to get four to get four points out of six, that's not too bad. Especially you know, Wolves and Chelsea, it's not too bad of a. Um, not too bad of a situation there. So, uh, yeah. So obviously going into this weekend, we had uh, Crystal Palace. We've got Crystal Palace at back at Old Trafford, so it's nice to, you know, get back at Old Trafford. And that should be a goal. That's not. That's a good save. Um, yeah, we're back at Old Trafford. Uh, Crystal Palace. I'm not too. Sure. I can't remember if they won or they drew last weekend, or did they lose? I can't remember if they won or drew. Uh, but obviously, you know, they've had problems themselves with, obviously, with Sahar. They lost, um, that, who else did they lose? They lost uh, wan Saka, didn't they? Uh, Sahar doesn't look like he wants to play for Crystal Palace, which is, you know, he wanted to go in the summer, but he couldn't. He could still go, you know, Real Madrid or someone could go and get him, but, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I reckon... I reckon, obviously, Sahar will stay at this, uh, stay at uh, Crystal Palace and probably leave in January or something like that. Um, so, yeah, they are, you know, they're a bit of a bogey side, Crystal Palace, because I think, didn't we lose to them? Or did, or did we lose to them? I think we drew against them at, um, at their place last season. So, it's definitely going to be a tough game for us, because obviously... 
you know, we'll be at home. You know, we expect us to be, you know, c control the ball. Like, you, didn't, you know, I reckon it'll be like the same against Wolves in that Wolves in that first half. But we just lacked in that first half. Oh, what a goal! That's four 0 That's Martial with a header. Yeah, Martial two goals in uh, two games. So it would be nice to see him score again. Um, obviously, it would be nice to see more creativity in that midfield um, obviously with Pogba and uh, McTominay I reckon it will be Pogba and McTominay again I reckon he might play uh, Pereira instead of uh, Lingard because Lingard I don't know he, there's something wrong with Lingard at the moment and he needs I don't know he needs a goal in him he needs an assist in him he needs one of them good games where he, he needs a goal because he hasn't scored like so many months now or he hasn't got assists or scored in so many months and we still keep picking him. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's why I went with, you know, Mata because Mata can get, he can control possession and, you know, if he can play as that number 10 like uh, Solskjaer has been bringing him in to do, I reckon he'll be good with obviously uh, Dan James on the right hand side. Dan James actually on against Wolves, he did really well. Obviously he did get booked for diving but I still... <laughs> Um, he needs to stop that obviously he needs to stop diving but um, if we can get you know if we can get him you know playing and getting a you know get a, get him a bit of confidence you know he scored a goal against Chelsea he needs he needs that uh, he needs to practice his crossing a bit as well as wan -Bissaka. Yeah. also should we talk about wan -Bissaka? Um what I've noticed in the last two games about wan -Bissaka, he needs to learn on his attacking um, he's good defensively, don't get me wrong, but attacking-wise, he's uh, he likes to he's likes to high, he likes to do tricks, but he's like a he's a right back. He shouldn't be doing that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so uh, he definitely needs to work on that. You know, try putting a few crosses in. You know, first time crosses and stuff like that. I think those two need to work on that. But it was nice to see you know. Uh, Dan James on that right-hand side. He didn't really leave that right-hand side. Oh, there we go. Crystal Palace just scored. Who's that? Is that uh, Zahar? I think it is Zahar. With a goal. Um, yeah, so obviously this weekend we do have Crystal Palace. It's a normal 3 o'clock kickoff, And I think after this game... Oh, I scored, so there we go. Um, I think after this game as well, we do have... Uh, Southampton, but I think that might be a Sunday game, that Southampton game. I think we're away that game, but uh, anyway, uh, so score prediction for this weekend. I reckon United will win. I don't think it'll be a, I don't think it'll be that good of a game. I reckon it'll be market. It might be a two-nil game. You know, we might score early on, or we might score. You know, two. You know, two late goals. I think. Uh, I, you know, Crystal Palace. There are they are good at defending, but once you once you get a goal against Crystal Palace, they kind of leak. Uh, they kind of do leak goals. So if we can get one in like the first ten minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if we did win four 0 again. But I can't see it. Um, so I'm for my score prediction. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go two 0 United. I reckon. United will score first and then maybe late on, but I don't think it'll be that good of a game, to be honest. I reckon a 2-0 victory is a fair scoreline. So, anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it here for today. Um, so, next week, like I said, I think we do have Southampton, so let's look forward to that, and hopefully we win this weekend. So, I've gone for 2-0 as my score prediction, so I'm actually going to end it here, guys. So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you guys next time. So, right, I'm going. Bye! I oh, know guys, thank you for watching my video. Hit me up on Twitch and Twitter and don't forget to watch the playlist down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.